It's been a hot minute since Khloe Kardashian updated her real estate portfolio, but in recent news, she's moved to the exclusive gated community of Hidden Hills. While a few of her famous family members already live here, this all new modern mansion happens to sit right next door to her mom, Kris Jenner's new house. Khloe and Tristan Thompson, her on and off again man and baby daddy, agreed to buy the newly built estate together and pay an eight figure sum for it. Khloe recently unloaded her longtime Calabasas property to move into her new digs, and you'll never guess who bought her former place. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Khloe Kardashian is a media personality, socialite, producer and businesswoman who rose to fame for being part of probably the most famous family of our time. Since 2007, she starred alongside her Kardashian-Jenner fam in the reality TV series Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Its success has even led to spin-offs such as Courtney and Khloe Take Miami and Courtney and Khloe Take The Hamptons. From 2009 to 2016, Khloe was married to Lamar Odom, who she married only a month after meeting. While they were the stars of their own reality TV series, Chloe and Lamar, they ended up divorcing, and their relationship was often the subject of tabloids. In 2009, Chloe was in the second season of The Celebrity Apprentice, finishing 10th out of 18 candidates by being fired by Donald Trump. In 2012, Chloe also hosted The X Factor alongside Mario Lopez. Since then, Chloe's had her own talk show, Cocktails with Chloe, as well as starred in and produced the fitness docuseries. Revenge Body with Khloe Kardashian. Aside from her TV stints, Khloe's found success in the retail and fashion industries with her sisters Courtney and Kim, launching several clothing collections, fragrances, and more. These days, Khloe is back with Tristan Thompson, who's also the father of her daughter, True. She's also amassed a whopping net worth of $50 million or more. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. You guys requested this one, and while we already did a vid on Khloe Kardashian that was back in 2019, so it was time for an update. We'll look at her longtime mansion she sold in Calabasas to a surprising buyer, where she's moving to in Hidden Hills, and more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tours next in those comments down below. All right, let's get into this video. In October 2020, it was reported that Chloe bought a brand new mansion. The Kardashian Jenners are known for many things like their family dramatics, a grip on fame, and above all, their love of hidden hills. This guard gated community deep within LA's San Fernando Valley is the most exclusive around and served as the family spot for many years, even before keeping up with the Kardashians was the thing. Last April, matriarch and mastermind of the clan Kris Jenner sold her freshly redone hidden hills mansion for $15 million to Katarina Hart daughter of Coty chairman Peter Hart. He is the dude who helped oversee the brand's $600 million deal with Kylie Cosmetics. In typical Kris Jenner fashion, she wants to keep her family close. It seems Chloe's new home acquisition is right next door to her mom's new pad. How convenient. The pair reportedly inked eight-figure deals to buy newly built homes inside the gate that just completed in 2020. While the exact price of Chloe's new mansion is unknown at the time, it apparently cost well over $10 million. And her man Tristan Thompson and bought the place with her. The two mansions are located on Ashley Ridge, the pocket of Hidden Hills often considered the most desirable. Neighbors include Jeffree Star, Lori Lawlin, DeMar DeRozan, and more. While we have yet to scope photos of Chloe's new home, we can see how the new builds in the neighborhood look and get a solid idea. Chloe and Chris's new mansions were built in 2020 by the same local developer and pack in over 10,000 square feet of living space each, sitting on 1.5 acres of land. Chloe's new home was designed in the popular modern farmhouse style and is rumored to be a whopping 16,500 square feet. While the Ashley Ridge mansions were already gorgeous, many were ripped down to make way for the new builds, which are apparently even more impressive. It's also said Chloe's new crib has 8 bedrooms, 9.5 baths, and every amenity you could ever imagine. There's an 8-car garage, covered patios, a guest house, a movie theater, lounge, home gym, and office. Also, outside there's of course a beautiful pool with inset spa. The two properties used to be part of a single large estate that rambled over three acres of land and included a sprawling mansion of almost 20,000 square feet. Once upon a time, this mega home was even leased to Britney Spears. After Miss Spears moved out, the owner sold the place in 2012 for $7 million to a local developer who quickly demolished the home, but then let the land sit vacant for years. Eventually, the land was passed to the ex-Ponzi scheme Woodbridge and 
and then to the most recent developer. He subdivided the lot and spent 2020 putting the finishing touches on both Chloe and her mom's brand new mansion. Chloe moved into her new home before Christmas and she took to social media showing off her gorgeous decorations. She uploaded a series of pics and videos to Instagram, giving fans a glimpse inside her festive upgrade. Chloe's Christmas tree was tall and decorated with silver and green ornaments with sparkling white lights. She also showed her cozy fireplace with a smaller tree on the other side, each of them all white. This article reports that Chloe moved into her new property back in November and already began making the place a home. It's likely only a matter of time before she shows the entire mansion off. Before buying her new mans, Chloe long lived in a Calabasas estate just next door to Hidden Hills one. She sold her home for $15.5 million, a record price as the most ever paid for a house in Calabasas. It's also more than double the $7.2 million that Chloe paid for the property over six years prior when she bought it off Justin Bieber. This time, the buyer is also someone famous, none other than Darman, the cosmetics entrepreneur turned YouTube famous lifestyle guru who quickly announced his purchase via Instagram. For the past few months, Man and his partner Laura G have documented their house hunt on social media and welcomed their first child earlier in 2020. Built in 2005, the gorgeous Tuscan villa style compound served Chloe well for many years. It's located in the estates at the Oaks, a double gated community where other homeowners include her sister Courtney, Travis Barker and more. Set on a high ridge with panoramic views of the hills, the 1.3 acre property is covered in lush landscaping, bright roses and rolling green lawns. Inside. Chloe appointed top designers Tommy Clements and Walter Fernandez to transform the basic mansion into a sophisticated modern abode. The home features jet black hardwood floors, cream colored walls, and designer furniture throughout. It spans 9,320 square feet with six beds, 10 baths, and features like a curved staircase in the foyer and a sexy backlit bar. The gorgeous estate also offers six fireplaces, an elevator, vaulted ceilings, and floor to ceiling windows in many of the rooms rooms letting in natural light. Among the common rooms, there are a few choices of living and family rooms and a dining room with garden views. Not to mention the gourmet kitchen with only the best appliances, a breakfast area and bar, and a butler's pantry and kitchen. Other details of Chloe's former home include arched walkways, terracotta floors, and hand painted tiles. The master suite here boasts a sitting area, fireplace, and balcony. And if you'd rather hang out elsewhere in the mansion, there are rooms like a state of the art theater, a games room, and an office. Outside the property is just as amazing because there's an outdoor bar area with thatched roof, secluded patios to dine on, numerous numerous fountains, and a pool and spa. If that's not enough, you also get a spacious guest house that's a mini replica of the main home. Chloe may be moving on, but she really loved this home and took every opportunity to show it off. Even when she moved back in November, she said goodbye to the home on Instagram, posting a story walking through the empty house. Chloe then took fans to what used to be her daughter True's bedroom, saying, We are out of here and the new owners get a beautiful, blessed home. This home is so special and magical. I have the best memories of this beautiful, beautiful home and I'm so happy to pass it on. More memories to be made. Well, I'm sure Darman is already enjoying it. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of our Khloe Kardashian house tour. We'll have to wait to see more of her brand new Hidden Hills mega mansion, but we know Khloe likes showing off her homes, so I think we'll catch a peek very soon. For now, we know some of the details and that the home is massive. What did you guys think about Chloe's upgrade and her longtime Calabasas home? Would you wanna live right next door to your mom? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. I think by looking at any house Chloe's lived in, she has great taste and carries it with her wherever she moves. So I know her new spot is nothing less than impressive. And honestly, I'd probably be down to live next door to my mom. It would be super convenient. If you haven't already, I'd love it if you guys subscribe to my personal channel. You can click the link after this. <laughs> <laughs> How can I say no? So it's basically a mammoth. So good. It's oozing out, but... They don't hog it. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!